What's up, guys? I'm, gonna, I'm getting ready to drop the uh, MS DOS pack for the new DOS box pure core for our hyperspin build. So I figured I'd go through and show you guys how to set it up and use it. There are a couple of little things that you have to do. Uh, so let's get to it. On PC, you're going to need to add the system in Rocket Launcher, which is really easy. See, so you're just going to go into your... Let's see here. I'll pull it up. All right. I'm going to go into your hyperspin folder, rocket launcher, rocket launcher UI, launcher, rocket launcher UI.exe. You're going to have that right here. And then under emulators, you're just going to click over here to add a new system. Okay. The system will be called. Microsoft um, S dash DOS. Okay, it's got to be it's case sensitive. It's got to match the name of the system exactly. Okay, select an emulator. You're going to select RetroArch. Click on the little magnifying glass. Just find RetroArch. Double click it. Okay, you're good. Next, ROM paths. Just go in and point it to the ROM path. It's going to be wherever your hyperspin folder is. I've got a lot of stuff in here. It's not very organized, so don't get lost. Just worry about your own. Okay, ROMs. Microsoft MS-DOS. ROMs. Okay. See? This little green circle here tells you that the ROMs are available there. Next. Um, you're not going to need to generate a database that's in the pack, so we're going to do no database. Okay. Wow, that was loud in my ear. I hope it's not so loud for you guys. Okay. Now, I'm not 100% sure. You're going to want to go back to global. I'm not 100% sure if uh, the... ROM extension is in your RetroArch module. So what we're going to do is we're going to click on Global. You're going to scroll down to RetroArch. Okay. And pick any one of these spots next to the straight line. It doesn't have to be at the end. So that's what I'm saying. You don't have to scroll all the way to the end. You can put it right here and just go D-O-S-Z. That's the name of the ROM extension, and then you're going to put that, I don't know what you call that, that straight up and down line. Probably sound like an idiot, but then you're going to put one of those to separate between the other extensions, and that's it. Okay. So, that's set up in Rocket Launcher for the most part. Go back down. There's one more thing we got to do. Click on Microsoft MS-DOS. Okay. And you're going to click here. And then you're going to click the MS-DOS sub uh, tab there. And you're going to click this magnifying glass and you're going to navigate to your, let's see. Okay, here we go. Emulators. This is on a different front end, so don't pay attention to some of the stuff you see here but you're going to want to go to your emulators folder in your hyperspin you're going to go to retroarch okay open the cores folder and then you're going to find the dos box pure or the dos yeah dos box pure core and double click it and that'll select the correct core for ms dos that's it it's going to run now now uh, let's see oh there's mm, oh Something else you're going to have to do is open your RetroArch. But this is going to be the same if you're talking Android or PC. Okay, really doesn't matter. You're going to want to open RetroArch. Well, I guess on PC you're not going to need the on-screen keyboard. So this will mostly just be for Android. Okay, you're going to go to RetroArch. You're going to go to Settings, Input. Here, let's see if I can make this bigger here. Okay. And then you're going to go 
to hotkey binds. You're going to go down to where is it? On screen keyboard toggle. See this? When you're on RetroArch, you're going to want to set a hotkey for that because you're going to need a keyboard to uh, install the games. It installs them virtually. It's, I mean, it doesn't really install them. What it, that means is it's going to extract it. It's going to take the files it needs and set up RetroArch so that you can use it. And you'll see that in a minute. You're going to go down to on screen keyboard toggle and you're going to set a hotkey for that because you're going to need to use it. Okay? That's all you should have to do in RetroArch. Oh no, actually, you're going to have to install the core because we don't have the core. So, you're going to go back over here to online updater. Okay, core updater. Scroll down and find DOSBox Pure. Now, if you're on PC, I should have said this before, but if you're on PC, uh, when you go to show Rocket Launcher where the core is, it's not going to be in the cores folder until you come here and install it. Okay. So you're going to have to come and install this core first and then go back and set it up in Rocket Launcher. My bad. Hopefully people watch the video long enough to get to that <laughs> so that they see why they can't find it. Okay. Now we're going to launch Hyperspin. And I'm going to show you how to get a game working. Each game takes a little tiny bit of setup, but it's not much. It's really only going to be just a tiny, tiny bit. Okay, we don't need to watch that. Seen it enough times, right? Okay. Here's your DOS wheel. If you've installed the pack, everything should work. You should see this as I see it now. Okay. Nice little theme. I had Dwayne Hurt or Dwayne. Yeah. Hursty made me this theme because he's way better at it than I am. Everything I was trying to put together looked terrible. He did this in like five minutes. It's just like, here you go. And he doesn't even know Hyperspin. Okay, let's see if we can find a game that we know. And I'm not a big DOS person, so I'm probably passing a lot of cool games, right? Oh, here's one for the kids. Alright, so. You're going to click on the game. It's going to load up. Oh, wow, that one just worked. Okay, so it must only have one EXE. Um, Alright, we're going to have to find another game that has multiples the reason for this is good you'll see it in a second okay here we go so you see here um, it wants us to install it so you can just click on that graphic installation menu to select the graphics mode Used by the game. Use the cursor key. See, this is all new to me. I'm figuring this out on my own. Okay. I'm not even sure that this is correct. See, this is what I'm talking about. You got to figure this out. Type WC to play the game. Let's try that. Oh. Okay. So I guess what we really want to do here is just click on wc.exe. Now in some games, it's going to ask you to install it. You're going to install it, and then you're going to see a list of a bunch of different exes. I can show you that in Doom here in a second. See, so there it is. Game's working. I guess what I was trying to show you I had only done a couple of games and I thought they were just all like that. So we'll go to one that I know is. Okay. Let's go. Ooh. 
Okay. So I'm going to click this to top one here. And it's going to ask me what drive I wanted to install it to. It's not really installing it to any drive, okay? It's just virtual. So I'm going to click C, enter the name, Dooms, okay? The directory does not exist. You want to create it? Yes. So you got to hit Y. And now it's going to pretend to install the game. Hit any key to return to the start menu. Okay, now it's going to show me multiple, well, on Doom 2 there are tons of different EXEs. But now I'm going to go down to the Doom EXE, I'm going to click that, and now it's extracting all of the different game files. And it's, like I said, it's not really installing them. What it's doing, it's creating a file in the RetroArch uh, saves folder that'll allow you to play these games. It's just a virtual install. It's going to take a minute usually to extract the WAD file. And you're only going to have to do this the first time you play the game. So the next time you play the game, it'll just give you the list of EXEs and you pick it and it'll start right up. Press any key to return to the start menu. See, now you have a bunch of different EXEs to choose from. Now, I haven't gone through all of these, but I'm pretty sure most of these are just different versions of the game. Okay. Um, the Doom 19.exe, that's the install EXE that we just used. So you know you don't want to use that one. Okay. Um, setup, we probably don't need that. So I'm going to try this one, just Doom.exe. And there's the game, ready to go. Suggested retail price nine dollars. Man, this is old school. All right, I think that's it, guys. Uh, as far as the controls and everything go, we're all in this together. We're gonna have to figure out the controls ourselves. Obviously, you can use a keyboard like you would uh, if it was actually still on a computer and play it like you used to, or you can go into your RetroArch settings, which you're going to use your hot, tea, your hot key for menu toggle once you start the game. And then you can go to quick menu and probably set up your controls in there to use your controller for the game. I don't know. We're, we're in that part together. We're going to have to figure it out. So let me know what you guys think. Give me any feedback. And I uh, hope you enjoy it.